first graders, happy Wednesday and welcome back for some reading. Today we're going to work on finding some rhyming words. We are going to do our um, sight words, go over those for the week, and then we will be doing some phonics. So for that you'll need your blue reading book. I'm on page 68, 6 and an 8. Okay, find that lovely picture that we looked at on Monday. And then you also need your whiteboard. My whiteboard is right here underneath my book. And go ahead and grab a marker, something to write on your whiteboard with, and an eraser. Okay, if you need to pause me to go grab those things, go ahead and do it now. Otherwise, I'm going to get started. So if we are on page 68 in our book, we see this picture. And there are a lot of things going on, boys and girls. We're going to find some things that might rhyme. Okay, so... If I were to read this bullet point over here on the side, it says, find two things that rhyme with stop. Ooh, stop. And I actually found three things before I started my video. I wonder if you can find the three things that rhyme with stop. Now, rhyming words have the same middle and end sound. So when I segment and blend stop, I'm going to use my fingers here, stop. Ooh, so the beginning sound was st. Op was my middle and end sound. So I want other words that also have the op sound in them. So I'll give you an example of one of them I found. Stop, mop. Okay, stop, mop. Those two words rhyme. Can you find anything else that rhymes with stop? Hmm. You find anything else that rhymes with stop? I see this guy. What is he? Stop, cop. Nice job. Stop, cop, mop. I see one lady doing something. Stop, cop. This lady, what is she doing? Or this boy, he's doing the same thing. Yes, he's shopping. Shop, cop, mop, stop. They all rhyme. Great work, boys and girls. All right, let's turn one page. And we've already read our short O words this week, so I'm going to focus in here on, let's see if I can just move, I like that better. Whoop. I'm gonna focus in on this page here. This page has our sight words for the week. And if you haven't already, you can go ahead and find your sight words that say week three, those green cards, and cut them out. These are the words that we would want to practice this week. First word is blue. Can you point to the word and say it? Blue. Nice job. The second word is help. Can you point to the word and say it? Help. Good. Like, I help my friends with their work. The next word, do you know this one? Little. Will you point to the word and say it with me? Little. I have three little sisters. The next word is from. Can you point to the word and say it? From. I come from the town of South Haven. This next one is use. Can you say this, uh, this word? Use. Good. I like to use a pencil when I'm doing my work. And the last word, can you sound it out? Get. Nice job. Get is this word. I like to get pepperoni pizza from Little Caesars. Okay, good. Let's go through them one more time. Blue, help, little, from, use, and get. All right, your turn. There's not going to be any Mrs. Garris this one. This time you tell me the words when I point. Ready? Do it one more time. Blue. Help. Good job. Little. From. Use. And get. Nice work. All right, let's look at these sentences at the bottom now. Just like when we practice reading our phonics words, we are also going to do some sentences that help with our sight words. 
okay? So, go ahead and take a peek at the first sentence, whispering it to yourself if you need to. Here we go. Let's read it together. Help him fix the little blue clock. Woo. Go ahead and get that reading finger if you didn't already have it, and let's do that one again. Help him fix the little blue clock. Good work. All right, let's do sentence number two. Whisper, read it to yourself to find the words that you might need to work out. Okay, let's read it together. Get the mop from John and use it. All right, let's do it again. Get the mop from John and use it. Awesome work, first graders. All right, go ahead and you can close your book. You will have an activity to keep practicing those sight words today on Seesaw. It's a pretty fun one, so I hope you enjoy it. And now we're going to use our whiteboards and our marker. So you can grab it, keep your cap on your marker, because first we're going to review. On Monday, we practiced this short vowel sound. Can you tell me what sound this vowel makes? Good, this vowel is O and it makes the ah sound when it's a short vowel sound. Good. So if I were to write this, hmm, what about a word? How about this word? Let's segment and blend it. T, ah, p, top. Nice. Okay, we, we've also been practicing this phonic sound. Ooh, we had the word top. That's a base word. It means one top. Now I added my plural S. That means I have more than one. What is my word now? T -op -s, tops. Nice job. And remember, this plural S can sometimes sound like the Z sound. All right? Great work. All right, boys and girls, let's start out. Excuse me. Let's start out with the word cot. Can you word build the word cot with me on your board? So k k is going to be a c. K k a t. Nice job. C o t spells the word cot. Okay. All right, boys and girls. Will you change the c in cot to an l? So just erase the c. Change it to an L. Ooh, what is our new word? Segment and blend it. Aha, uh -huh. lot is our new word. Good job. Okay, ready? We're going to change the end sound. Change the T in lot to a G. What is our new word? Log. Ooh. Log. Log. Nice work. Okay, ready? Let's see if you can figure out which sound to change this time. I want the word log to say hog now. Can you figure out what sound to change to make log into hog? Like a hog, like a wild pig, a hog. <clears throat> Do we need to change the beginning, the middle, or the end sound? Let's see which one doesn't match. Og, hog. Oh, well, this one matched and this one matched. This one did not. So, boys and girls, what letter do we need to change the L to? Right, it should be an H. Now we have the word hog. Okay, last one. Can you figure out which sound to change to change hog so that it says hot, like a hot summer day? Ot. Mm, what sound do you need to change? Which one didn't match? Ot. Mm, good. I hope you change the N sound to a T. Good work. Now you have the word ot. Hot. Awesome job, boys and girls. All right. That is all for reading today. I want you, though, to find a book on Epic to read today. And while you're reading, I want you to think, hmm, do I know the characters in this story? Do I know the setting and where they're taking place? Great work practicing this short O with me, first graders. 
I can't wait to hear about the stories that you read on Epic today. Have a great rest of your day, and good luck with your sight word practice.